What has been your main focus while working on this project? I think my main focus was, or at least what I tried never to forget, is how an image can can affect an individual life and also be responsible for the kind of images we we're going to generate. So I really tried, and that was a long conversation, so it was not just me deciding, but also with the Nobel Peace Center, to create images that could help understand in general the issue through visual metaphors and, and through reenactments but um, trying to address the subject without victimizing specifics and uh, also without blaming one specific individual but just uh, like a very general approach to it and uh, also trying to, to reach a wider audience. What has it been like to travel the world taking these pictures? It's been exhausting, <laughs> basically. Uh, I am used to traveling uh, because I always engage with subjects that uh, do not belong to where I live for some reason. I, I still don't know why, <laughs> but um, uh, it's been challenging because uh, we had a quite tight deadline and uh, the logistics of uh, entering certain countries like Congo are not especially uh, easy. Um, but it's always, I mean, traveling is always an enriching experience, uh, whether you go as a tourist or you go as a professional with a very specific focus. So it's exhausting, but worth it. <laughs> What was it like meeting the winners in person? Uh, that is uh, certainly a moment in my life that I will never forget, honestly, because uh, you can totally feel uh, the energy that these people convey and how their personal experiences and their mission, uh, you can totally feel that when you meet them. Um, so a total honor for me and, uh, and a real privilege to be able to just have a conversation with someone that has so much to share and that has so much information that is valuable for all of us. Hmm. How was it to portray sufferings like this uh, through a camera? Well, I tried uh, to avoid the direct representation of that suffering uh, because I think we live in an era with the image being uh, trying to be like closer and closer and closer to the drama and in the end we lose the perspective of it so that was that is and I think eventually one of the reasons why they chose me this year to make the images because I, I always try to take one step back and try to address the subject from a general angle uh, because that in that doing so we can we can prevent and protect the victims that accept to give their testimonies but also gain the potential audience that would be uh, refusing the consumption of such literal images. Which part are you, you the most proud of? Uh, mm, I think I'm proud of everything. Uh, uh, it's been uh, the most difficult thing I have done in my career, I can tell you, because um, not only working with such a team, I'm, I'm more like an individual working, so, so that part of production was also challenging, but also in a way like uh, the responsibility of, uh, of having to create images that will be linked to the Nobel Peace Prize forever. No? That is a big responsibility that I'm not used to. Uh, on top of that, you have the sensitivity of the subject, which can also affect uh, me as a woman personally. So there was many layers of difficulty, and even if it was uh, very challenging, uh, I am very happy that we managed to create everything, and I'm hoping that everybody receives the exhibition with the same passion that it was done. What kind of impression would you like to leave on the audience? Impression? Uh, I don't know. I think everybody will have its own reaction. What I tried and what we tried here in this collaboration with the Nobel Peace Center is uh, to create images that um, would not force anybody to turn their back on the issue. Like uh, maybe you don't want to know more, but it won't be because you cannot stand the images or you cannot stand the narrative. Uh, everything is explained in a very accessible way and in a beautiful way. So there is no real reason why you wouldn't want to know more. What part of the exhibition is most po powerful to you? I think it's, uh, I don't know, if you ask me, and because I had the chance to meet the winners, for me the portraits are the ones that made more impact to me because it was uh, quite strong experiences to meet them and to create images very quickly that could actually uh, 
say and explain who they are rather than what they look like. So I think the portraits are, are quite important. But uh, I mean, uh, it's a very difficult uh, question <laughs> because I like everything and everything's been distilled and uh, selection mm, to, to a level where everybody's happy with every image and I, I'm part of that. Mm.